Alright, I on MPI, brought to you by Adafruit and DigiKey every single week. The newest, best things on digikey.com. That are in stock. Yeah, that are in <laughs> stock that you can actually get. Can actually this get. week, it's Twin Industries. Lady Ada, what is Twin Industries and what is your Ion MPI this week? Well, they have a cool name. I, I you know, as I, as I like to say at the beginning of Ion MPI, uh, sometimes we have repeat uh, vendors, but I always like to um, highlight new ones, ones that we haven't been able to get to. And so uh, I checked out digikey.com slash new, which is where I get all my NPI ideas from. And also, of course, all the newest stuff is there. And I saw um, this new uh, featured product series from Twin Industries. So they make a lot of cool uh, prototyping tools and breadboards and perf boards. And I kind of liked this uh, prototyping kit that they came up with. This is kind of a combination prototyping board setup. So there's three boards. Uh, first off, they have the coolest name. This is the OB-1. So like, oh, you know, good. okay, maybe yeah. the OB-1. Maybe it's here to help you. Good naming. Good naming. Um, and then there's the OB-2 and the OB-3. Uh, that's what's going to be my guess. Good. Yeah. yeah. So uh, actually, let's go back to the, the first one so I can like, get the OB-1. The OB-1. Uh, you're my only hope, OB-1. Uh, so this board uh, is kind of cool because, you know, uh, Twin Industries makes solderless breadboards and they make perf boards and they make... Um, all sorts of like uh, prototyping tools. Um, what I thought was really neat is they actually like combine them all in one, which I thought was a neat idea because it's true. Sometimes you want, uh, you know, prototyping area that's got like the five hole, you know, solderless breadboard style, and you want a perf board area that's kind of free form, and then you also want a solderless breadboard like chunk that you can uh, plug in and reconfigure. Uh, so um, there's three sizes, and I have a couple here I can show off. Can you do that, Red? Um, no, let's go uh, here because I want to show. Um, so this is what uh, was normally called perf board or uh, prototyping board. Um, so I know there's like there's solderless breadboard and there's breadboard. So this is like kind of technically what some people call perf board or breadboard, and um, it has individual holes and they're not connected through. So each hole is like individually, you know. Uh, tinned, but they're not connected together. Um, and the idea is you use solder and use blobs of solder to connect um, sections together. And then um, you have solderless breadboards, which, you know, the, the thing is, is that um, they're easy to plug in parts into, of course, but they're not as mechanically stable as soldered breadboards. Like parts can pop off or come off. Um, also, there's a little bit more capacitance between um, all those little plates that are inside, and also they can get kind of loose. Like they're 99.9% .9 reliable, but once in a while, especially if you used one for a while and they get a little rusty um, inside, um, you know, the, the connections can be a little uh, tough. And then um, there's kind of what we call permaproto, which is, um, you know, perf boards, kind of a mix between the two. There's um, prototyping holes, but they're connected five in a row, sort of like a breadboard. Um, and so, you know, for example, here's the, the demo image for the OB-1 and you see, okay, you've got LEDs and headers connected on the right side where it's the freeform area, dip chips in the middle, and then, um, you know, solder jumpers on the left on the solderless uh, breadboard. So uh, let's go to the overhead real fast and I can, you know, sort of show off what's going on. So I got a couple of these. One thing to watch for, just FYI, um, when you get these, the solderless breadboard Oops, hold on. Let me uh, focus lock. Um, the solderless breadboard part is uh, mechanically bolted on, but it's not soldered through. So, um, you know, if you are going to use it, you can remove it, but if you're going to use it, um, you'll need to solder these pins to make the electrical connection. Um, it's quick work, and uh, these are all gold plated pads. So that's, that's nice. Um, this section, you see there's a little silk screen over it, so it tells you that these five holes are connected together. So, for example, um, you know, you have a uh, trinket if you want to solder this um, down in place. And then you can have wires coming from here that you can then reconfigure onto the solderless breadboard area. And then, of course, this is the freeform area. So none of the holes are connected together, um, but it's good for, you know, if you have a dual row header, you have, like, kind of weird... Um, pin out sections, or if you just want to have, uh, you know, I also see sockets sometimes for, um, uh, you know, like tubes where they have like circular connections. Um, those are going to be easier uh, to connect into a freeform uh, proto area. Or if you have like a tight pack um, connection, so like sometimes people who do op amp circuits, um, there's not enough holes on either side, so they'll, they'll do it on the, the freeform area. So the OB1 is kind of my favorite. I think it's got exactly the right amount of each one. 
Um, but I also got the OB3, which has basically, you know, power rails all the way down. Um, well, not power rails. I mean, they're, they're, they're dual chunks, and each chunk is uh, two by five. And then on the bottom, you can see that the two by five connects through uh, to this area. So this is like a slightly different uh, a different setup. Actually, sorry, this one also connects through. So this this breadboard area um, is if you if you solder it in, will connect through um, and act as like a third. Um, row basically to this uh, breadboard area. Um, another thing is, uh, you know, they are good with breadboards, but Twin Industries also makes a lot of other kind of cool stuff. So they make flexible PCBs. They also have like these um, cases that have the, the, the PCBs that fit in them already, like ABS cases. And they also have a bunch of LED prototyping boards and Raspberry Pi hats, um, also stocked by DigiKey. So check those out. I like that they're they don't just make like basic breadboards. They also kind of make some cool weird stuff and, and surface mount kits as well. Um, but the good news is that the OB-1 and Friends are all available in Along stock. The key, you can buy them the and That's they can right. ship them to you. This is the part number. It's a short URL. And uh, that's one of the things that uh, we're trying to do is as we show stuff, we want to make sure the availability yes. is there as well. So Very exciting. Try to get stuff handy. that's in stock. It's useful. <laughs> And uh, it's a Lady Ada pick, and that is this week's Ion MPI. Thank you, Twin Industries. Ion MPI.